I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, recent past energy. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and the person you're currently dealing with. Well, we got this magician. And it's with the Five of Swords. Now, the magician is actually a card that can signify new beginnings, great expectations. This card, it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives. And in the world, if we simply try, just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, though. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself, because a magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because... Anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get it. Now it's with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, with this one, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life or maybe a few people or a person in particular. But don't ignore these feelings. Don't ignore these feelings. But don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. And I say this because this could ruin the things that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So you have to think several times before you really let someone have it. Even if you know they deserve it. Yeah, when you get the Five of Swords, it's important to pick your battles. So, Pisces, recent past energy, magician clarified by the Five of Swords. So, what I'm getting here is that Yeah, what I'm getting is that well, somebody's mad here. You tried to manifest a new beginning with your person. But you, you thought they would be mad at you. <coughs> Maybe you did something to make this person really mad and angry at you. But it looks like you tr you you tried to maybe bring this person back back to you. So you tried to manifest a new beginning with this person, but you know or you knew that they were they were pissed about something. Yeah, cuz if you look at the 5 of swords, It's a card below the word pass. This man, he's running around with two swords in his hand. He's got three on the ground. He'll pick them up and use them if he has to. There was a huge, there was a fire. You see the fire that's right in front of him? There were people sitting there, but when they got a glimpse of him, they all ran. So you, you felt like your person you thought they were feeling this way about you. Just really upset at something you did. Or something you said. So you were trying to figure out figure out how to get back in their good graces. Or how to get back with this person. You wanted a new beginning. Or a fresh new start. With someone that you you made angry. Someone that you disappointed. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. 
Well, we got the King of Cups, and it's with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the King of Cups, it speaks of a balance, male and feminine energy, which holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate a man or a person in your life. Usually, when it represents an actual person, it can refer to someone who's very kind and loving. And this person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But this could go either way. This could go the other way also. Yeah, so just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King King of Cups in a reading. Yeah, this King of Cups, it's about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups in a reading. Yeah, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all about love, kindness, compassion. It's a very warm, friendly, and tolerant energy. Yeah, so nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you when you get the King of Cups. Now, it's with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes, comes to work or career questions or family and even romance a really good overall card in the deck it means that you're doing well the three of pentacles tells you that people around you they appreciate you and your efforts and they also notice the quality of work you do even if you're not being paid it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track there could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not. So coming up, Pisces, King of Cups, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so like I said, you're trying to bring somebody back into your, you're trying to bring your person back into your life. You know they're pissed at you. Something said something that made them really angry. Or you did something that made them so mad. Well, look, look at this. We got the King of Cups here. This person it, is showing that they're going to be glad to hear from you. King of Cups. <laughs> this person's got emotions for you. I'm getting, I'm getting that they've been waiting to hear from you, or they're excited, they're glad that you reached out, finally. They could be, they could be wanting, well, they got, put it this way, they got, they still have deep emotions for you. This person's got a lot of love for you, Pisces. Yeah. So... They're really happy that you're trying to manifest something with them. And the Three of Pentacles is showing that you could be trying to figure out ways to impress them. Because, or you could be, well, the Three of Pentacles, the card below the word present. It's about, um, it's about benefits, teamwork, collaboration. Quality. You could be trying to um, let them know what you bring to the table now, or trying to, I don't know, sh sh show them how um, you could benefit the connection now. Some type of impressing, maybe. Maybe you, you want to impress them with a new look or something like that. I don't know what it is, but the Three of Pentacles, like I said, it can be about offering some benefits, 
teamwork, collaboration. You see the way there are two people at this man's feet, the three of pentacles, the car below the word present. They're looking up at what he's doing. This man is showing them his work or what he's doing. Yeah, and they are like, wow, you did that? So I don't know, maybe you're going to fix yourself up with a new look or something and trying to, you know, impress your person, but you really don't have to. Because your person, they're all in. They are so excited that you, you're trying to pull things back together with them. Yeah, King of Cups is is ready is ready for love. So yeah, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the King of Wands. <coughs> mm, interesting. And it's with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, Pisces. We got a true pair here. True pair. Listen, I I do my shuffling off camera because my shuffling game is really sloppy. My cards, they the cards, they fly all over the place. So I do it off camera and then I meditate on the the, the spread for each sign. And I'm always so I've only gotten a true pair maybe about three times since I've been doing my readings for about a year. And I'm always like really amazed when they come out like this. Yeah, they don't come out like this often. And I, I kid you not, I don't know what, what I have in my hand. I drop them down blindfoldedly. So it's like this is so... Cool. I feel like I hit the lottery when I when I get a true pair like this, just right on top of each other. I didn't sit it th I did not sit them this way. This is how they came out. I don't look when I put the cards down. Anyway. Pisces, we had a true pair here. King of Wands. Clarified by the Queen of Wands. Now the King of Wands can indicate a man who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. This person would want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is very positive. Even when he does not represent an actual person in your life, it signifies that you could have a man around you who are supportive of you and they think well of you. So you could be, you could be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and have the will to accomplish what you have in mind. Now it's with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands can refer to a woman who could have a lot of fire type of energy. This person could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When it's not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work, career, or family romance the queen is positive it's a very uplifting energy so when she stands for an actual person in your life she's a good friend who, who is solidly on your side even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed and if you're trying to conceive and you get the queen of wands well this is one of the most positive signs that there can be <clears throat> Okay, so Pisces, the challenge, King of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so, um, like I said, your person, they, they're glad you reached out to them. They still got love for you. And whatever they were mad about, they're no longer mad anymore. They care a lot about you. The King of Wands has caring and protective feelings. And that's how they feel about you. And you're the Queen of Wands. 
So you're very determined this time to make sure you don't make the mistakes that you made when you were with this person the last time that pissed them off, whatever you did uh, or said. Um, so you're very determined. Um, the Queen of Wands can also be kind of egotistical, used to getting what she wants. She knows her worth, very confident. So, your energy, you're bringing a, um, yeah, you, you f you're feeling more confident about this, this connection, um, because your person, they're, they're letting you know that, that, that they, you're feeling like they, they're, they're kind of over the past hurt, and it's making your confidence increase and you're feeling you know really determined that this could actually work yeah yeah but just by the way they're acting because the king of wands you can feel that love there's a lot of warmth a lot of warmth there and the no, I'm sorry, the King of Cups. There's a lot of warmth there. Kindness and compassion. And the King of Wands is a very caring and protective energy that you, you're you picking up from your person. So it's making you feel really confident and very determined about this connection. And because it's a true pair, you get a lot of great chemistry. A lot of great chemistry with, between the two of you. So, that's the challenge now. Let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We have the Ten of Cups, and it's with the Sun card. Now, the Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards you can receive in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a really good card. Ten of Cups speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about, such as your parents, siblings, children, pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups in a reading. It's a part of the picture here, too. Great card to see. In a reading regardless of any question. Yeah, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. Yeah, Pisces, and this is what fell out for you. A lot of good cards here. Now, it's with the Sun card. The Sun card. With this one, you're likely to, to find that things are going really well. Even though your finances, they'll be in good shape when you get the sun card. But keep in mind, this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. Now, for some of you, I know it is. But the sun card is saying that you should remember to do things like socialize, meet new people. Try to get out and about, and if you're looking for a new job, the sun card is an indicator that it's right around the corner. So your outcome, Pisces, Ten of Cups, clarified by the sun. So yeah, this is really good. Ten of Cups can be like starting to feel like things, like things are, like like it's a dream come true. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. So you could feel like your dream is coming true. You've manifested this person back into your life. They're glad that you did. They still have a lot of emotions and love for you. They're no longer mad. And it's increasing your confidence in the connection and with yourself. The connection is... Um, feeling really good because there's a lot of chemistry that you and your person have. We're looking at a true pair. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. 
you start doing things to impress them or or you two will have some type of collaboration or teamwork going on or something with the three of pentacles and it's just about your person feels like you're a dream come true with this ten of cups here you you're feeling it the same way because the sun card is saying that they add a lot of sunshine to your life yeah, this person makes you really, really happy. So Pisces, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people in the reading can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically... The other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing you the very best for the New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading. Once again, take care. And have a great day.